Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great and today we're going to be talking about Tim Duncan's high top set of dreadlocks and he has some of the best dreadlocks in the game. I'm like to be honest, I think he has some really good looking dreadlocks. I like how skinny they look. It's pretty cool. I have some gray hairs in there. It looks like an overall cool style and this is something that I didn't expect from Tim Duncan. I was a huge Tim Duncan fan growing up and I was actually a huge fan of the Spurs. And it's pretty cool to see how far he's come because I just remember being younger and he always had like either a really short hairstyle or even sometimes being bald. And it's really cool to see him with dreadlocks. And it's always interesting seeing people like, you know, Tim Duncan or Jay-Z or people that grow old and then they grow out their hair. And there's probably some other people that have done that as well, but it's always cool seeing that. So let's go ahead and take a look at some pictures of his dreadlocks and we'll talk about how he got them possibly. And we could talk about the possible ways on how he actually started them. So the first thing you notice about his dreadlocks is that they're very slim and very skinny, which makes them very appealing. And I think it goes perfect with his hair being a high top fade because it just ties everything in a whole lot better. But with his hair being that skinny, it seems as if he did them in a maintenance method. Now, they look like they could possibly be freeform, but I think that's just because of his hair type. But before we talk about any of the methods or anything like that, let's go ahead and hop into his hair type because that kind of gives us a segue into how he started his dreadlocks. Now, and now his hair is really curly, so I would most likely list him at about a 4A. It's not that coarse or that tight of a curl pattern, so I would definitely put him in a 4A range. Could possibly be in a 4B. And I explained this in a video not too long ago that people with dreadlocks typically have a 4 hair type. And then of course anybody who has anything below that, like myself when I had my dreadlocks, my hair is a about a 3B, or, or probably not a, like a 3B or a 3C. But regardless of your hair type, anybody can have dreadlocks, but you usually see it and they're mostly known for people with the 4 hair type just because it's easier to get dreadlocks with that hair type. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't get it if you don't have that 4 hair type. Tim Duncan does have a 4A hair type and with that hair type, you can do pretty much any maintenance method you'd want or any method in order to get dreadlocks, whatever you choose. So if you have the 4A hair type, you can do sponge rub, you can do twisting with gel, you can do interlocking, you can do crochet hooking, which speaking about crochet hooking, I'm almost positive he used crochet hooking as one of the maintenance methods, but probably not the initial start. Initially starting, he could have started with twisting with gel. And I think that's most likely what he did just because of how maintained it is and how everything looks really good and actually is pulled together really nice. So now we can say that he has a 4A hair type, started with twisting with gel, and then now he does crochet hooking to maintain it. And that's obviously maintaining the tips and then also the lengths of the dreadlock. Twisting with gel will also pull in all the loose hair in the roots or in the base of the dreadlocks. So if you do twisting with gel and crochet hooking, your dreadlocks are gonna look invincible and look very strong and very mature. So those are two main things you can do to your dreadlocks to make them look really good. With that being said, he has a four year hair type. He most likely did the method of twisting with gel. Another thing that could have been possible is starting out with sponge, but I don't think that's what happened. But you can get your hair like his if you were to start out with the sponge because of how skinny they are. Because a sponge rub method actually makes the hair turn out a little bit more skinny than thick. Also depending on the whole sizes of the sponge and also with actually how wide you're going with the sponge when you're you know twisting the hair. But we can go ahead and just say he started with twisting with gel and then maintains with crochet hooking. I'm telling you guys, if you do those two things, it's gonna be great. And with the twisting with gel, any products you wanna use, I would say use my favorite, which is the Jamaican Mango and Lime. And then obviously for the crochet hook, I'll link that down below as well, because you guys can use both of those products on your hair and they work great. Now for anybody out there who has a three hair type or even a two hair type, you can do twisting with gel to start out and then follow up with crochet hooking. Just know if you have anything lesser than a 4A hair type, it's not gonna hold as tight if you were to have the 4A, 4B, or 4C hair type. Now some of the hairstyles that he wears, he mostly just wears it up. The cool thing I really like about his hair is that it actually stands up. It doesn't, he doesn't all the time pull it into a ponytail, but sometimes he does, which is kind of like a pineapple top since he does have a high top fade. But mostly his hair just kind of stands up because of, I'm assuming him pulling it up, or just because he keeps his roots really thick and doesn't twist it all the way down to the root. And that's one thing to do as well. If you want your hair to stand up more, don't maintain your dreadlocks all the way down to the root. Allow it to kind of get a lot of new growth at the base, but not enough to where you know it'll clump up if you don't wanna go that freeform route. But leave enough new growth so that it can stand up, and it'll stand up for as long as your hair can stand up, really. 
because with a thicker hair type, your hair is gonna stand up a whole lot more. So say for anything from like the 4A to the 4C, your hair is gonna stand up for quite a long time if you allow it to. Now, if you wanna lay it down, you can obviously twist all the way down to the root and that can solve that problem. But if you want it to stand up, like I said, and the reason I like when dreadlocks stand up, it's just personal preference of mine. I liked my hair when it stood up in the beginning stages when I had my first set of dreadlocks. And I just think it looks cool, especially with Tim Duncan's hair because he has such skinny dreadlocks and it just overall looks really cool. So yeah, if you do what I said, just let a little bit of new growth come out. Don't twist it all the way down to the roots. Don't maintain it too much and then it will stand up very well. And if you want it to be very maintained at the tips, you can just go in with the crochet needle at the tips and then at the length of the dread and it's gonna help out a whole bunch. But you guys, speaking about those products, you can pick those up at greatlocks.com. So don't forget to go check that out. And you can also find anything else you need on greatlocks.com as far as tutorials, other products, shampoos, you know, crochet needle or dread sponge or anything you need for your dreadlocks, you can find on greatlocks.com. So go check it out. And also don't forget to go follow greatlocks on Instagram because if you follow us and tag us, you can definitely be featured on the page, the channel, or even the website so make sure you go do that and that see you guys next time peace